We set up an external stakeholder panel uh, about a year ago um, to make sure that we had the views from lots of different stakeholders across the whole of the Northwest to help us make decisions about where to invest money, where to spend our time, how do we allocate resources to various different projects, how do we prioritise issues, um, and to have somebody else rather than just us deciding those sort of issues, making sure that stakeholders are involved in that discussion as well. One of the big difficulties for a network operator like us is to balance lots of conflicting issues and how do we know whether we should invest in one area rather than another, how can we make those decisions? Well, one of the ways is to get all of those different stakeholders in a room together and help them to understand exactly where we're coming from and uh, get their input on what we should be doing. For the British Red Cross, engaging with Electricity North West uh, is really important because I think that proactive work that we do um, can really um, stem a lot of the issues that we see when we're in the field working with some of your customers when they have maybe prolonged outages. Uh, some of the experiences that we have in the field we can bring back to this sort of a panel um, and maybe help uh, sort of shape the business plans, uh, particularly for the next few years, and maybe influence the way that we work um, together and individually as, as separate organizations. Not only is it a good opportunity to meet some key people within Electricity Northwest and understand their issues that they're facing, but also we get to meet lots of other people who have a variety of issues and we get to network with them regularly and uh, build good, strong relationships, better working relationships with these individuals who sit on the panel. That enables us, we feel, to have a better relationship with Electricity Northwest and to understand the issues they're facing up, up at the moment. It's important for us and it's important for our stakeholders that Steve Johnson, our Chief Executive Officer, is involved in both of our stakeholder panels. He's involved in stakeholder engagement across the whole of Electricity Northwest and leading and really challenging us uh, and external stakeholders to deliver information and uh, to challenge us on what's, what we're really doing about, uh, about what stakeholders are telling us. He sits on the external panel, which means that our stakeholders get to talk to him direct about some of their issues. It means he's listening in uh, on exactly what's being said. He can take that right to the top of the organisation, discuss that with his other directors and make sure things are going to get done about it. Steve's also involved in our internal panel, which means he can then talk to our senior leaders within the business to make sure that some of these things really are actioned. We feel that Electricity Northwest engagement is very effective. Um, the, the regular panels, whether it be um, every six months or every three months, are very useful, but also our specific topic group meetings where we discuss very specific issues that are affecting us have been extremely effective because we're able to meet the people who are on the direct face of those particular issues and we're able to understand what uh, complexities they might be facing and try and understand their issues better and we can share with them our thoughts and how they can get over some of the problems. So how do we prioritise all of the issues that are happening at Electricity Northwest and that are happening with stakeholders? By having the materiality matrix it allows us to put a bit of science behind that and put some robust measures in and some tracking and some metrics to actually show yeah these are the things that are most important for us and for stakeholders this is where we should be spending our time there are some other issues that are on the matrix they're still very important but perhaps slightly less uh, resource intensive or significant for all of our stakeholders or to Electricity Northwest as a whole so we will spend time on everything on the matrix and it should try and encompass everything that we do but I think it's only fair for us to be transparent and show stakeholders exactly where our priorities are and how we're going to address them. So once we've got the results from the, our stakeholder engagement, stakeholders have told us what they think, it's really important then that we go back to stakeholders and say, which ones are we going to take forward? How are we going to take them forward? If there's any suggestions that we can't progress for a variety of reasons, it's important that we come back and we tell the stakeholders exactly why, make sure that they're fully involved in exactly what's going on, the decision-making process, and understand the balance of priorities that, that we have to deal with. In terms of how Electricity Northwest engage with stakeholders compared to the other DNOs that are also engaging, I would say ENW are probably more targeted. They've worked out the types of uh, stakeholder they need to talk to and they're inviting those stakeholders to uh, special meetings really 
where both sides get to talk more, whereas the other DNOs appear to be sort of delivering information really in more of a sort of classroom type lecture scenario where they'll invite lots of stakeholders, probably too many, uh, free for all, and then they'll just talk and it's more one way rather than the two way arrangement that ENW seem to be pursuing. I think with the stakeholder panel we're still in the beginning stages, but like a lot of the panel members we're talking about today, I think we're finally starting to feel more comfortable with each other and see what you know what's maybe more important for us to discuss here and what may be more important for us to discuss uh, with our sort of partners within the organization on an individual basis. So I think it's a, it's a great level of engagement. I think we've probably got a bit, bit of a ways to go, um, but I think it's really promising.